Hi, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I figured I would just do a new year goal video. I just figured I would sit down and talk to you about what I kind of want to achieve this year and I guess my fears as well. But before we get into it, I did just want to let you know that I have made a second channel, which is now called Hannah Mess, but I think I'm going to change it to Hannah Mac and then this will be Hannah Mess. I'll leave a link to that in the description, so make sure you subscribe to that if you want to see more content from me. So I actually will have posted a bullet journal video on that channel at this point, but yeah, it'll mean a lot to me if you go and check out that account too, because I'm very excited about the future on it. So anyway, with that being said, let me get into this video. So I've got my uh, dog with me by the way so if, if you hear snorting it's her not me. I think I'm gonna start off with the fears because why not? I feel like 2020 has been a very chaotic year for everybody. It's given us all a lot of time to reflect on our lives and there's something about that that makes 2021 really scary to me so i was actually sat there and i was watching the sweet boy podcast which is supposed to be like really chill but for some reason when they were talking about how we have had chance to reflect and kind of figure our lives out and i'm still sat here not knowing what the hell i want to do with my life it just kind of freaked me out i don't know i feel like there's a lot of expectation with 2021 and it's not like coronavirus has just bailed i find it really overwhelming and i'm kind of scared that I'm gonna let myself down and not be as fulfilled this year as I would like to be. And I don't know, maybe like other people are feeling that as well. I just feel like there's a lot of pressure for this year to be kind of like a rebirth. But saying that, in the UK, we're now in a third lockdown, so it's not like life's getting any better, is it? Let's get into the more fun part, which is just my goals. I actually have a little uh, painting that I did for my bullet journal. You know, go check it out on my new channel. <laughs> I can wink, I promise. This is my little goals page so I'm gonna look at this whenever I get a little bit unsure about what I want to do. First goal I'm gonna talk about is being more, what's the word? Consistent. Being more consistent on YouTube. So like I said I've made another channel and I've got this channel so my goal is to post to my other channel once every week on Wednesday and to this channel at least once every two weeks. Ideally it will be once every week on both channels but I know what I'm like. I also want to try and have more fun with my content because there was a point last year where I really fell into a rut and I just hated everything I was making and trying to keep up with the deadlines was putting so much pressure on me that I ended up having like mental breakdowns over it. So I don't want to end up like that again but I want to encourage myself to stick to my deadlines while also having fun or doing more creative editing and stuff like that. So that is my YouTube goal. Second thing is my being my little body that I have to spend time with 24 7. I would like to lose weight this year. I've been saying it for years because I've been getting a little chunky. Rather than looking at it as I need to lose X amount of weight, I want to try and actually look after myself. So sleeping, an appropriate amount of time, eating the right sort of things, exercising. I really need to focus on my back because I don't know if I've ever said this on my YouTube channel, but I have a lot of back problems. So I'm in a lot of pain most of the time. So I want to keep up with my back exercises. Yeah, uh, I just want to kind of have a bit of a self-care year, I guess. So next thing is to be more social. It's because of coronavirus, I, I can't see my friends, but I do want to talk to them more because what I've learned this year more than anything is that I really appreciate and love my friends and I don't really know what I would do if I didn't have them because I've spent a lot of my life kind of feeling alone. I don't really interact with people as much as I should because I, I really can just disappear and people will not hear from me forever. So I want to stop that. I want to keep in contact with my friends and just talk to them more because I think it does make me feel a lot better. Because sometimes I'll be in such a bad mood and then I'll have a call with one of my friends and it kind of just fixes everything. So I just need to remember that. Next up is university. Uh, I am the worst student in the world. I have had three months to do one essay and I had to get an extension on it because I just didn't bother doing it. So my goal for this year is to really keep, where does this pen come from? Is to really keep up with my work. I know that I'm not necessarily gonna keep to this because I never actually do, 
but even if it's not perfect, I just want to kind of interact with it a bit more and keep it controlled and not too overwhelming and not let uni beat me into a depression. All right, so final big thing is just art. I am kind of an artist. I do really enjoy drawing and I- You're gonna be ruining my video, aren't you? So my practical goal is to do at least one drawing a week. I also would really love to start my own small business. On my other channel, I actually made my own stickers, which I'm super excited about. And I would love to one day sell stickers and other art like pins and prints and all sorts. You know, I think it would be fun and it's something that I've wanted to do for a really long time. I am gonna continue to make little things. I might make like a little Instagram where I'm gonna post stuff that I make. Maybe in the distant future, that will be something that I will do, but I want to kind of continue to work towards it. Okay, so smaller things. One, I would like to be a better gift giver. Second thing is to spend more time with my doggy. God, she's a cute little thing. Is she not like a little sausage roll? And actually watch shows and things that I've been meaning to. So that includes Adventure Time, which I'm binge watching at the moment. I don't know, like all the horror movies, like all the classics, I wanna watch them. I just wanna experience more things, I guess, and stop putting off everything that I wanna do. Okay, yeah, so that is the end of this video. Uh, this is kind of just me putting my goals out there so that I actually have to do them or I at least have to hold myself to them. Like, I am accountable now. It's like owning a baby because that's what you do, you own babies. I'm gonna stop talking now. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like down below and maybe even subscribe and maybe even consider subscribing to my other channel as well. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs>